What is up YouTube and welcome to this Arrow video. So if you are new to the channel, please do consider leaving a like and a subscribe down below if you did enjoy the video. So it's been quite a while since I've done an Arrow video for you lovely people. And well, I haven't really had much to say on this season. But this season finale I think was really, really good. The season overall has been incredibly patchy. I think that early on the show was pretty decent. I did enjoy the season. Obviously, we came off one of the best villains the show has ever seen in the previous season with Prometheus. He was a fantastic villain. It was a fantastic season as a whole, in my opinion. I loved it. But this season felt incredibly dull and was lacking in what we thought we would actually get. With Michael Emerson, I was expecting a hell of a lot more. Turns out he was just a pawn for Ricardo Diaz, who was introduced very, very late in the show. Caden James was someone who I was looking forward to, an interesting hacker villain. But this end up, well, ended up being a complete letdown. This was no fault of Michael Emerson. It was just due to the fact that the writing of the show was incredibly wonky and uneven throughout the season. But the show did definitely pick up in the last couple of weeks with Ricardo Diaz. Especially the, the milestone standout episode which was the entire backstory of Ricardo Diaz as he went off and did jobs with our Earth 2 Laurel Lance. And I have to say, the introduction and reintroduction of Katie Cassidy as the Black Canary, as the Black, well, at least Black Siren, or now they're trying to get out, uh, out there in the public of her being the proper Laurel Lance, the one kind of the, the one who died, the replacement for her, is incredibly weak. It feels incredibly shoehorned in. And it just feels like, why do you even bother killing off Laurel Lance if you're just going to bring back her doppelganger from Earth 2? But there are some highlights of this season, like I said, with the Ricardo Diaz episode where he was focusing all on him. And I think that the deconstruction of Team Arrow really let down the show quite a lot. It, it really did split the focus of the show from the Arrow Civil War right through to having Ricardo Diaz, Richard Diaz, become the big character that he actually is. And it really did kind of split everything, having the two teams, and then even just having Diggle join Argus, just felt really weird and, and poor, in my opinion. Now, we did have some really, really good action this episode. The action this episode was stunning. The fight scene where we had the FBI and the group take over the SCPD once more. That was really, really cool as well. And we've also had some big hints towards next season's villains. So next season's villains will possibly be the Longbow Hunters. The Longbow Hunters was an 80s story with Green Arrow, where he moves from Star City to Seattle, where Black Canary is located, his love of his life. But here we get Felicity, thanks. We get the bargain basement version. And what happens is he goes on to fight with a proper longbow, not a technical bow or recurve bow that he has now. And, well, we see some really big changes. But here the longbow hunters are different. So in the 2014 version of the longbow hunters, these are characters such as Killer Moth, Count Vertigo and the like. And these are who are Ricardo Diaz does employ to take on and kill the Green Arrow. Now, funnily enough, the best thing for Oliver right now, if he's got this fabled Longbow Hunters who are even the League of Assassins are scared of, well, it makes sense that he is in a really big, if he's in the slab, a real kind of heavy duty prison, yeah, he's going to he's gonna work out quite there. And a lot of the group of, of his militia, they've all been killed. A lot of them have been taken out. And I have to say, the fight scene on the roof with Arrow and Diaz was stunning. I have, that just was amazing. And I really do give credit where credit is due here on this channel. And that fight was just next level insane. Just an amazing fight. And then Laurel Lance comes along and thinks that, you know what, I'm not going to kill you. 
well, or you're not going to kill him and then she just does her canary cry and he falls off the roof this is all due to the fact that Quentin Lance has been shot and I think that Quentin Lance's story really has come full circle now I think that they couldn't really add much to him he's he's had the kind of real dark moments of course with Laurel dying he had the alcoholism and then he had the redemption and there's not really much else you can go with him, in my opinion. He was he was mayor for a while to replace Ollie. And there's there's really nothing else for the character to do. And I think that Arrow does have quite a lot of characters at the moment as well with Team Arrow. And having all of that going on, I think Quinton's just another character who isn't really that needed. I mean, even in this season, we had Captain Pike perish in one instant scene. I think he died even off screen. So yeah, so major characters from the past have been killed this season. Rip. But Quinton Lance, gone, but not forgotten. So that then introduces Laurel, and I'm not sure what process, what part Laurel will be playing moving forward. Sarah Lance comes in, love that. I was actually at the gym this morning before I watched the episode, and I was on my Instagram stories in between sets, and I was watching the Instagram stories of Sarah, of Katie Cassidy, or not even Katie Cassidy, Katie Lotz. Yeah, whatever. And she was posted about it so I was expecting to see her in this finale and it was really really cool a nice touching moment where she runs in sees Laurel Earth 2 Laurel and they connect and she's like are you are you like my Earth my Laurel well, not in a, not in any way shape or form but it was a really really nice moment and I'm very curious to see where this goes next what would be absolutely dope is seeing the Black Siren go over to Legends and, and work with the Legends that'd be really really cool and a great dynamic for Sarah Lance as she's learned to become a captain and a leader of a team. Well, if she's got her sister from another Earth, I think that'd be really, really neat. I think that Laurel is adding a bit too much to as well to this season. Uh, I think that you really need to focus on having one Black Canary at a time. Be it have that Earth Black Siren turn into Black Canary and Dina Drake goes off and does her own thing. That be that would be I'd, I'd be open to that uh, because I think that that character has really lost away. The writing on her turning on Oliver and things like that really has failed. It's been really bad, and I think that they really have messed up the character of Dina Drake quite a lot. Now, of course, we've got the season ending with Oliver in prison. So yeah, Oliver is over in prison. He is in a supermax prison. He's in the slab. So. It's not going well for him. Obviously, he's going to break out. I think he's definitely going to break out of prison. We, we know he will. But he did that speech at the end where he was uniting everyone and getting all calling upon his allies to fight against Ricardo Diaz, who has survived and will be a villain next season along with the rest of the Longbow Hunters. So he will be out for revenge. So I think we're going to be a lot see a lot more focus next season. I think we're going to see a lot more interesting moments. It's going to be a lot more fun seeing what is happening next season with Diaz and him being involved with everything and being able to focus and hone in on that character works really, really well because this season we didn't really get to know him that much and seeing him being a badass and the actor Kirko Savido, he is fantastic and seeing more of him I think is a really, really good thing. And you can build on this character and it'll be a much more kind of nuanced season. It'll have a lot more, more layers and 
kind of gravitas if this character is still out there trying to fight against the new Team Arrows. Of course, I like the idea that Oliver's revealed that who he is, but the problem is, I don't like the fact that he's going to be in prison possibly for a lot of the season, but time will tell. The Flash pretty much got out within two episodes over on his show, so it'll be curious to see where they go with this and how and when he will actually be coming out of prison. Of course, we can have people taken over. We've got Diggle taking over the the hood. And we can also got Roy Harper returning next season as well. Because now everyone knows he's not the Green Arrow. He can turn up and be like, yo, what's up? And he can we can have Arsenal, a full Arsenal, coming over to the show. Which I think would be really, really awesome. But I will probably do a video on the Longbow Hunters to maybe break that out a bit more. Might do that this weekend. Drop a like if you want some more videos and some Season 7 predictions. But that is it for this video. Please drop a like. Please subscribe. See you soon. And goodbye.